Okay, Michael, this is from uh, last week, last weekend. And, um, you know, I've got some video of you um, on this on this channel from, uh, and you can go back and look at the difference. I mean, it's, it's definitely, um, as far as the amount of, energy that your body body looks like it's generating is, is definitely a lot more um, this is going to take a while for you to get get the hang of it I guarantee it um, you know it's it's not going to be something that's just going to be easy to master so to speak um, you know curveball change up things like that you got to be really aware of when you when you load once you start tying your breath and holding your breath and then exploding pushing blowing the ball uh, together then then it all you know whether it's a fastball curveball it doesn't matter uh, I'm a big believer you know, uh, Alex Rodriguez said that when he inhales, uh, when he starts his load, uh, when he makes contact, he ex he blows the air out of his mouth, and he he envisions that he's blowing the ball out into the field. So, if you're not blowing, if you're not using your breath, I don't, you know, you got to start getting a uh, and, and also understanding that 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 breath is kind of like a centering breath and here Matthew what I'm seeing is you know your front knee is consistently soft when you you know as you make contact it it's bent and if you go back and look at your uh, your brother and you can go back and look at some of the other video on here on this channel Austin does a real good job of getting that front side knee really good and, and firm so you you got it firm now, but uh, you know it's not really mm -hmm. you're not really using that back the the your left leg as much as you could. So when you come down with that heel, you should be working on getting that front knee straight. You know, and it really doesn't become straight until you're pointing the bat head towards the pitcher. You know, it's like it, it's a it's a constant momentum to try to get your your body force going. You know, going in the opposite direction of the ball. You guys are letting the ball get deeper in the zone, and that's that's good. That's you know, I I, I tell guys all the time, you don't have to practice too much about pulling the ball. You know, work on hitting the inside part of the ball and keeping that backside high. Keeping your backside tall and taking the ball the other way, getting letting the ball get as deep as as, as you can. Mechanics are looking good and look, looking much better. Using your body a whole lot more, Michael. Matthew, again, it's that front knee. I think we get that firm. And, uh, you know, you, you, you're doing a good job of keeping your body from going forward. One thing I would do, uh, both of you guys, kind of pull back a little bit as you're swinging through your energy stops and it starts to go up a little bit Matthew you know you see yourself kind of pull back a little bit uh, that's just a habit you know you really want to yank it and so forth and um, we'll talk a little bit more about keeping your swing a little bit shorter it's a little bit long but uh, you know keep that front arm really really straight makes it long so Anyway, we'll talk later.